Oh, you can really smell the fresh oak casks. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. Today we have three whiskies on the cask and they are all American whiskies and they are all bourbon whiskies. And we're gonna start with the Black Saddle. What do we know about the whiskey? Um, I really don't know about the, what do you call it? The, the distillery. <clears throat> There is no distillery called Black Saddle Distillery. But um, we know the bottler or the one who produced it. And it's Frank Lynn from California. And it's Frank Lynn. Sounds like one name, but it's Frank Lynn. Sounds like a joke, like humongous. But it's Frank Lynn. And it, such products rarely get to to Europe, but um, we got our hands on one of these bottles. Um, yeah, we don't know where it's from. I don't know whether they produce the spirit, um, but I think they do the maturation. It's a uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. So the distillation and production has to be done in Kentucky. But I think I would suggest the bottling is done in California, but maybe the, the company does have a bottling facility in Kentucky as well. So um, Kentucky straight bourbon means also no coloring. It has 45% ABV. That means 90 proof for all you Americans. And it is an age statement whiskey. So um, here we have the 12 year old. Okay. There is not much written on this bottle except here bottled by Franklin Distillers fair field and then yeah, got a label over it to uh, comply with the German market. That's a, a nice cork. It's a nice color. You can even talk about the color because of uh, the no coloring within uh, the bourbon. But you would expect if uh, for a bourbon you have to use fresh cask, fresh oak casks. And with 12 years, I would have expected that kind of color. Oh, you can really smell the fresh oak casks. You do have a lot of that mild oak smell and a lot of that typical bourbon, popcorn, vanilla, caramel, sweetness. Can't really smell any alcohol with, even though it's 90 proof, 45% alcohol. Very, very mild. Bit of a, bit of a flowery touch in there as well. But it's a, it's definitely a, a typical bourbon. Hmm. Mm. You got a light sensation when you when you put it in your mouth, but it it's increasingly typical bourbon style whiskey. A lot of sweetness, corn, popcorn, caramel, vanilla, and now it fades off in a quite quite dry, light, slightly bitter note, like a a bitter chocolate with a bit of coffee in there. Mm. And so it's in the beginning, it's typical bourbon style, but it ends a bit differently, a bit more complex. You can even have a few citric notes, a few leathery notes, mm. changes quite a lot. Got a bit of a sweet background note as well. So I still, it's still a bourbon, but it finishes differently. Mmm. It's incredibly smooth in the beginning. And the sensation and a bit of a bitterness, a bit of a slight alcoholic fresh note, a bit of a citric note. 
rising to the end. Mm. And it lasts quite long. So I have a lot of a lot of taste. Retrospective, it's quite intense. So mm. 12 years of age. Yeah, and it, it ends in a bitter note. So it really depends on what you like. If you want that typical light bourbon that's easy drinkable, like to enjoy, then this one is probably too old for you. But if you like to get more into these wood notes, slightly bitter notes, tannins, mm, a bit of a dark chocolate note, a bit of a coffee note, then 12 years is the right age for you. So it is a typical bourbon. For a light bourbon, it's way too old. For It's a typical strong old bourbon. Mm. But I like it. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to discuss any of these bottles with us, then come on to whiskey.com and you can now even log on with your YouTube account. Just two clicks and then you can discuss all the whiskeys and all your interest about whiskey in our forum with me and Horst. Thank you very much for watching.